was crying all the way here, I'm almost certain it's an earache. The doctor's gonna be in here in just a minute, so you keep being brave, okay, Lily? We're gonna take good care of you. Pediatrics is one branch of medicine that demands a focus beyond the individual patient and immediate health problems. Pediatrics must focus on the developmental stages of the child over time, on the child's position within a family, on the unique cultural characteristics of the family, and on techniques of assessing and providing care in ways that minimize the trauma and upset to children who often do not fully understand what is happening. Hi, Lily. This initial program on pediatrics will discuss the characteristics of the early developmental stages from neonates to toddlers, as defined by the American Academy of Pediatrics, including the physiological differences of these developmental stages and some of their characteristics. We will discuss ways of working with the entire family, since they are, after all, the experts and primary caregivers for their own child. We will discuss dealing with psychosocial and cultural differences, and how the pediatric nurse must be aware of these and incorporate them without bias into an objective assessment. And we will discuss some methods of non-traumatic physical assessment and care techniques for these early developmental stages. First, we will discuss some of the characteristic traits to be expected at each stage. As we move through the stages, we will also discuss some of the recommended forms of care that are specific to that stage. A child is considered a neonate or a newborn from birth through the first 28 days of life. Is it normal for him to sleep so much? The first day or two, many sleep almost constantly. Being born was just as exhausting for him as it was for you. The first month of life is a time when the neonate's body functions, such as digestion, temperature, regulation, and sleeping, are becoming established. Neonates can focus on faces, smile in response to a smile, and lift their heads, but they are in a state of total dependency. The startle or moral reflex is one of several reflexes neonates are born with to help cope with life outside the womb. The presence of normal reflexes such as grasping, gagging, and startling are key health care issues for the neonate. Other areas of assessment include APGAR scores and age-appropriate vital signs. Axle area temperature should be between 36.5 and 37.6 degrees Celsius. Apical heart rate should be rapid from 120 to 140 beats per minute. And respirations should also be high from 30 to 60 per minute. Blood pressure should be about 65 over 40 millimeters of mercury in the arm and calf. After an initial weight loss of up to 10% in the first three or four days after birth, there should be a steady weight gain and growth. The birth weight should be regained by the 10th day and then a regular gain should continue. Because of their much smaller airways, neonates are at great risk of respiratory distress. You should be alert for unusual breath sounds such as stridor, wheezing, or grunting and other signs of respiratory distress such as irritability or cyanosis. Always handle the neonate in a gentle, comforting, and soothing manner. Avoid overstimulation. Speak to the neonate in a soft, comforting voice. Help parents learn proper child care skills including feeding, diapering, and bathing. Be sure parents understand that a neonate has immature heat regulation and needs to be kept warm. With changes in the health care system, neonates are going home earlier these days and sometimes with potential health care problems that haven't been identified. New parents should be taught about issues of jaundice, breastfeeding and nutrition, cord care and how to detect fevers and prevent sudden infant death syndrome. Help parents understand the importance of safety devices such as car seats. In most states they are required by law. The current standard is to place the child in the car seat facing backwards in the back seat and fasten it in place with both the lap and shoulder belt. Infancy is defined as from one month to one year of age. During this first year, the growth of the infant is very rapid. For the first six months, infants tend to gain five to seven ounces every week. Head growth is rapid and the chest takes on a more adult contour. 
Respiratory rate slows somewhat, though the heart still takes up about 55% of the width of the chest cavity. Henry, it's time for a clean diaper. The digestive process is still in.